Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can run any Windows application on your Mac. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is click the link in the video's description and it will bring you to a site called Wine Bottler. And from there you want to select download the stable version. Now this is the first method I am showing you of running a Windows application on your Mac. So once that's done downloading, you can open up the DMG and extract that. Once that's opened up, you want to drag Wine and Wine Bottler to your applications folder. Now, if we open up Wine Bottler, we can see that we uh, will get some basic applications that we can install onto our system. So here we have some browsers, Firefox, Explorer for Windows. We have VLC Media Player, Steam, 3D Mark, a bunch of applications that are Windows based. Now, these are just some uh, helpful, you know, common options that they offer, but you can go ahead and download any Windows based application and install it using Wine. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I've pulled up here is Advanced IP Scanner. Now I'm going to go ahead and download that. And as we can see in the corner down below, this is an EXE file, which means it's a Windows based application. Now let's put that on our desktop. And when we double click it, Wine will automatically come up and we'll go ahead and run it. And now we have the setup log for the application. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now you're most likely wondering where do these applications save to? If we click the little Wine bottle at the top of the screen uh, and we select File Manager, we can see that we have a full Windows C drive. And with this, all the files are saved here. So if we go into Users um, and we select Desktop, we can see the Advanced IP Scanner application is right there where we've just installed it. And we can run it and it's all working perfectly. Now, the only thing I don't recommend using this is for gaming, but I mean, Macs aren't meant for gaming anyway, so I don't think you'll need to run Steam. Steam will run, but you will have a lot of issues running games. So I like this method a lot because it's not as hampering on your system as a VMware or Parallels desktop or a virtual machine is. What a virtual machine does is it takes uh, a section of your system, so processor, RAM, hard drive space, and when that is functioning, it's drawing out power from those components and it slows down your system. So if you have a VM open, a Windows 7 VM, let's say for example, and you're just running an Excel document or you're running a certain type of application, and then in Mac you have a browser open, your system will not be able to handle it. Whether you've got a Mac Pro or a MacBook Air, it just VMs hamper your system. So now I'm going to show you a different method of running Windows applications onto your Mac. Now I've got my other MacBook Pro here and you, as you can see, I have Windows 7 fully functioning on this system. Now, how I did this is I used Bootcamp, which is a built-in application in Mac OS. It's been around for a long time and what it allows you to do is partition the hard drive and run Windows on that separate partition. So you're not running it within Mac like a virtual machine, except you are running it separately. So it won't hamper your system. You're getting the full system performance. Now the only downside is to this is if you need to run both Mac and Windows at the same time. So if you need to multitask and run the Windows application and the Mac application at the same time, then this becomes an issue. Also, depending on storage, I know most of the Macs nowadays that they sell come with 120 or 256 SSDs and storage for solid states is quite a bit on these systems. So um, a virtual machine or even doing a bootcamp method will take space on the hard drive because not only are you having to have room to run the whole operating system, but you also need room for all of your applications. But performance is pretty much great. I mean, I'm able to run all my applications that I need and it's fairly quick. 
So that's it for this video. Let me know down below which method you think is best. Be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.